Hello, let me show you the best features of Redmi Pad 2nd generation. And first of all, we are going to start from the settings. And the first thing that I want to show you, it will be definitely the screencast. It's available just over here. So basically, you can mirror screen of your tablet into your TV or external monitor. But also what is also what is really cool that you can find here the wireless display extension that is located here. So you can basically use your tablet as a wireless display extension for Nerby PC. There's also some tips. So we have to get at least Windows 10 version uh, or later. It's also supported for Mac. Now let's go forward for another features. So over here we can find the 90 Hertz refresh rate. So we can just simply force it from 60 to 90. Everything looks much smoother while you're using this device. Next, we can find here a support for Dolby Atmos. As you can see, we can find here one, two, three, four speakers. And the Dolby Atmos is available in the sound settings. When you go for the sound effects, it's available just over here. Next, we can also find the graphic equalizer for Dolby Atmos with six default, I mean, with eight default presets, but also with uh, the custom one. So you can set up frequencies up to your preferences. Next, we can go for stylus and the keyboard. And yes, this device support stylus. It also support keyboard and mouse. And also there's a support for third party stylus. This one is, as you know, not uh, with the Bluetooth connection. So we can only use it like this. You cannot take screenshots or write, or write for example. Uh, but it's not supported for thin, for thin stylus. So this one, I mean, for thin third party stylus, like this one, for example, with this kind of the edge, as you can see, it's, it's just not working. But if I'm going to put it, put this one, everything is fine and you can easily use it. Next, on this device, we can also find face unlock, so we can unlock your device a little bit faster. You don't have to swipe around the screen or input some screen lock. You can just simply set up the face unlock. Next, when you go for the apps section, we can find a really useful feature, AppLock. So basically, it allows us to set password or any application that we have on this device. And another feature that is available just over here, this is the background automatic start. So you can choose which apps are allowed to start in the background, and this helps save battery and boost performance. Now, when we talk about performance, there's one thing linked with this one. So we got the battery. You know, in this device, we can find the battery protection, the three different one, I mean, the two different one, the battery protection, so basically it will stop charging when battery level reaches 80% and then charge fully only when scheduled. Or you can use mm, the smart charging. So it will learn your habits and then charge this device to 100% when you will unplug it. Next, when you go to the additional settings, we can find here the circle to search. So we can just draw uh, a circle around any object or text on your screen to search it instantly with a Google. It's a very common feature. You probably know this one, but I want to mention that it's available. And by the way, it only works with Wi-Fi or, mob or mobile connection. As you can see, I'm offline right now and I cannot use this feature. So I want to mention this one. Now we got the memory extension so we can boost performance by using part of the storage as extra RAM. And this makes multitasking smoother and more stable. Also, over here, we get support for OTG connection. So for example, you can connect headphones or USB drive and transfer data. Then when you go back in the additional settings, we can find option to create another user. So for example, you can set your work profile, school profile, or for example, you can share this device with someone and else, for example, someone from your family. Now, by going to this function called security, I mean, this application, uh, we can find here the game turbo feature. So game turbo optimize the system for gaming by boosting speed and blocking 
interruptions. It helps deliver a better gaming experience and also it's available when you are connected to the Wi-Fi or mobile data. So currently I cannot use it because I'm not connected. Over here we get also option to hide applications. So if I want to hide my Netflix application, I have to just mark it with the switcher. And now if I want to enter, I have to just make this gesture on the home screen and I can find my hidden apps. Unfortunately, on this device, you cannot clone apps. There's no such a feature. But over here, we get also this tool to solve problems. So it's, you know, just a diagnostic tool that helps you fix common issues. Uh, it basically it guides you through the steps to solve problem, problems with Wi-Fi, sound or performance. As you can see over here, I've got this information that I'm not connected to the Internet. I cannot connect. So how I can fix this, for example, I can turn on Wi-Fi or mobile data to connect. On this device, we can also find input, headphone jack input. So you can plug your headphones and basically you don't need any adapters. There's also the memory card input and the SIM card input, but you have to remember that memory card input is available in both versions, 4G and the Wi-Fi. But this one uh, with... Uh, with memory card there i mean the wi-fi version doesn't actually have um, the sim slot or eSIM support so yeah that will be all thanks for watching